Hello everybody, my name is Peek Fire, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. In the last episode, we went through, uh, the, what's it called, the Tomb of Wraithwall, I forgot the name of the place, and we finally got the Dawn Shard, a lot as, as well as the, uh, what's it called, Bellius, the Summon Spirit, <laughs> or Esper as we call it here in this game. Um, and in this episode, we, well before we continue, we're gonna look at our license boards, because now... We have access, now that we got Bellius, we have access to a second license board. It's 30 LP for a new one. Uh, and so you get to choose basically two license boards per, per uh, person. You can use other license boards that you've already used, but it's probably better to use different ones that you haven't used so you can have access to every single thing that the game has to offer. Uh, as you can see, I've already chosen which ones uh, I needed for the next, uh, the, the second license board. For Vaughn, it's the Shikari, which was the old one that we had. Let me see. The old one that we had, and then I got the... Uh, press. Uh, you gotta press triangle. Uh, and I got the Time Battle Mage for him. So he's now he now has access to Time Magic and Green Magic. And other types of magic, most likely. Mostly Time and Green, So, which is awesome. Uh, that pairs well with his... Uh, with Well, now that he has access to crossbows, he can now attack enemies in the air. But since he's not going to be using that much, uh, uh, this, uh, he's going to be uh, using his other weapons over here, his daggers and ninja blades, it doesn't really matter. Um, he's gonna, he, but he has access to magic now. Next is Balthier with the Machinist and White Mage. He's going to be my White Mage uh, since the Machinist's guns don't really matter like uh, attack-wise because they attack and uh, they deal damage based on, well, the, regardless of the person's defense. It's, it actually pairs well with the White Mage. So he's going to be our healer while he attacks everyone from far away. Uh, for Fran, she's an archer and now a Red Battle Mage. So she has access to, uh, well, she still has access to some White Mage uh, magic right there. Uh, but also Green, Time, and I think Arcane magic. So she has a lot of magics that you can choose. Um, also, I think one of the stronger uh, magic right here, Ardor, is a fire type spell. And she has access to oil i think it's one where's the oil oil and she has access to the burning bow thanks to uh the archer where is it the archer it's in here somewhere uh and the archer tree uh, archer license board so she's gonna deal a lot of fire damage in the future um i use matched up Ul um bosh with ulan and foe breaker the Foe Breaker has access to shields as, um, as well as axes and hammers, which is it's just awesome. And she ha he has more nodes or um, augments for physical attack damage and HP. So that will only make Bosch attack hit attacks hit harder. And he he now has access to uh, shields. He also has access to hand bombs, but he's not going to really use that. Uh, he already has uh, the spears to attack people from afar, so we won't have to worry about that. We also have Ash here as the Bushi. Uh, it's they use they're basically the samurai here. Uh, she now has access to Mystic Armor as well as the katanas here uh, that I have been avoiding all game. Kind of wish that I had oh, someone texted me. Kind of wish I had used this early, but I wanted her to be a knight first. Uh, and now Panello with the monk and all these HP nodes. Oh, did I not get these yet? I didn't get these yet. That's weird. I should really get those. No, 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 actually. Yeah, I didn't get those. I thought I got those. Weird. I thought I did. Maybe I dreamt it. But anyway, all those HP nodes are going to do a lot of help for her because she's a black mage. She's frail, but she has a lot of magic right there. Um, so she's going to be our caster. And so that's all the um, new magic, uh, new license boards. That, um, uh, I spent so much time talking about it. But that's a big thing that uh, changes after you beat Bellius and the Tomb of Wraithwall. So take your time to look at your uh, new... Um, when you're at this point, take a, uh, take time, take your time to look at the new license boards. See your, what your options are. Um, I had to change Vaughn and Bosch several times. I couldn't decide, so I, it took me a while. Uh, but I finally decided on it, and it's, it's pretty cool. I'm kind of happy with what I decided. So... Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and go through here. Whee! Go down the steps. Whee!
Such a tremendous honor to again be graced with your presence, Majesty. You left us with such great dispatch upon our last encounter that I must confess I had begun to worry that we may have given your Majesty some cause for offense. Such a heartfelt display of remorse. Now what is it you want? I want you to give me the Nethysite. The Nethysite? That is a base imitation. We seek Wraithwald's legacy, the ancient relics of the Dynast King. They affected Nethysite. Did you not tell them, Captain Azalus? <sighs> Majesty, he speaks of the Dawn Shard. That is the Nethysite. <sighs> are you mad, Vosla? If we are to save Dalmasco, we must accept the truth. I will fight this profitless battle no more. <sighs> Captain Azalus has struck a wise bargain. In return for the Dawn Shard, the Empire will permit Lady Ash to reclaim her throne, and the Kingdom of Dalmasca will be restored. Think on it. An entire kingdom for a stone, you must admit, is more than a fair exchange. And when all is said and done, your master will have another pet. Lady Ash, let us take him for the people of Dalmasca. Your Majesty wallows in indecision on peril of their heads. And his shall be the first to fall. Well, at least your sword is to the point. To think the relics of the Dynast King were deifacted Nethysite, Dr. Sid will be beside himself. What did you say? Captain Azalus, take them to Shiva. They should have leave to return to Rabanaster soon. I want you to assess its power. Did our orders not specify that we return the stone for testing? I will not chance returning with a stone that is yet unproven. When we return to Dalmasca, we can announce that you are alive and well. I will then continue our negotiations with the Empire. I believe Lars has the key. He'll listen to us. We should trust him. Who are you, Vossler, to talk of trust? A son of Dalmasca. here is limited, so we'll be using the ship's drive to make our assessment. Once we've connected the stone, the reaction should be easily measured. Methods do not interest me, only results. <sighs> Such heat! The mist, it's burning! 6,800, 6,900, 7,000! This must be de facto Nethysite! The count still climbs! Ah, we found it at last. True deifacted Nethysite. The power of the Dynast King in my hands. Mm. Blood alone does not an Emperor make, vain. What is this? Something's wrong. What is it? <laughs> you stand! <laughs> Hold her down! What's wrong 
with her? I always knew Fran didn't take well to being tied up. I just never knew how much. How about you? I like Fran's idea. Let's get out of here. No farther! Sky Pirates, the future of Dalmasca will not be stolen. <sighs> Why do this, Bosch? This struggle is futile. You must know where it leads. I do know. All too well. Okay, we're gonna change this first, okay? We're gonna be using Bosch as our party leader with Ash, and then Fran just going crazy, because you can see that uh, marking above her level. She's currently going berserk right now, so we're gonna take advantage of that. Let's go ahead and fight Bosser, the traitor. Everybody we, we we love hates us. This is not fair. Uh, no, I want to kill the kill these things first. Oh crap! Okay, we'll do. Oh yeah. Um, so we'll be we'll have um we'll have Fran just attack, and then we'll have uh, Ash deal with the healing. Uh, Vassal should go down really quickly. Uh, he should have known. Oh, don't fight me. You were fighting with us for the whole time. How can you? He can't just like I don't know why he thought that we can like he could win. We just, we, we just defeated an expert. What the fuck were you thinking? Okay, we're, we're gonna kill him anyway. Um, Fran is just dealing damage. Oh my god, there we go. That was not even fair. Engine power falling rapidly. Each negative, impossible. Engine we room, this is the bridge. Report. What are they doing down there? What's happened? The Nimbusite's draining the ship's power. Disengage it at once. I want that number three new seal. It's infected. Ash will reach critical in 300. Cascade failure. Ash, let's go. All I have done. I've ever thought of Delmasca first. I know you do. I would ne'er gainsay your loyalty. Look on what my haste has wrought. Did I act too quick? Or was your return too late? I can serve her no more. You must take up my charge. The dreadnought Leviathan is sunk. The Eighth Fleet of the Arcadian Imperial Army lost. As word of the events in the Yacht sounded throughout the Empire, quit I, Bujerba, citing sudden malady. My true motive, to bring the various counter-imperial forces scattered throughout Ivalice together in unified resistance. By this time, Lady Ash had made her return to Rabanaster. She had not, however, made known her presence. Rather, she was content with keeping both her own whereabouts and those of the Don Shard concealed. 
Had she chosen then to go before her people, my error in announcing her suicide would be known to the great detriment of my efforts to assemble a resistance. In such circumstance as the Lady Ash then found herself, even were she to proclaim Dalmasca restored, it would serve only to invite the Empire's wrath. Though Arcadia had lost her Eighth Fleet, she remained, as ever, a military power with which to be reckoned. The Rosarian Empire assembles a vast host under guise of martial exercises. It is our belief they wait for the proper pretext, the sooner to make their strike against Arcadia. The loss of Leviathan and her fleet at such a time comes as a most grievous blow. Were Rosaria to invade, the battle would be hard fought. Had Lord Vane not deployed the fleet so capriciously, we would not now find ourselves in such perilous circumstance. Lord Vane shall be made to answer for his actions. It is the will of the Senate. Excellency, though he be your son, justice must be served. A convenient thing, justice. And so I must now make a choice between my throne and my son. A most lamentable situation for us all. Oh? For Lord Vane, perhaps. Yet surely Lord Lausa will make for a fine emperor. Lausa so adores his brother, and he is yet young. But he will not remain young forever. Already he busies himself unraveling Lord Vane's tangled skein. Lord Larsa has found his role to play and pursues it with some enthusiasm. Ah, yes. And who would set him at such tasks? What matter? Lord Vane himself once saw his elder brothers brought to like justice, did he not? At your Excellency's behest, as I recall. <laughs> you may put yourself at ease, Lord Gramis. So long as the Senate watches over her, Arcadia's well-being will ever be ensured. By your will, I shall bid Vane return to Arcades. So, it was the Dawn Shard that brought down the Imperial fleet. You know your stuff. Destructive power of such force. I've seen it once before, 
Lady Ash, you know of what I speak. Nabudis. The capital of old Nabradia, Lord Rassler's fatherland. At the time of the invasion, a division of Imperials entered the city. There was a mighty explosion. Friend and foe died alike. Something was there. One of the Dynast King's relics. The Midlight Shard was in Nabradia. More Nethocide. Well, no wonder they invaded. That ridiculous war. The trap at the treaty signing. All this because Vane wanted power. He must not be allowed to claim the Nethocite. The Empire must never hold it. Oh, they already do. The Dusk Shard, most likely the Midlight Shard, too. Besides, can't they manufacture Nethocite now? Very well. Then the path set before us is clear. We'll use the Dawn Shard to fight them. Dalmasca does not forget kindness, nor ill deed done. With sword in hand, she aids her allies. Sword in hand, she lays to rest her foes. This Nethocite, I hope, must be my sword. I will avenge those who have died. And the Empire will know remorse. You even know how to use it? I... <laughs> the Gareth may know. The Gareth people live by the old ways. Matricide lore is a part of their culture. They may hear it. The cry of the Nethersite's power. Whispers of the stone's menace. Dangerous though it be, what we need now is power. Should we declare Dalmasca free without the means to defend our claim, the Empire would crush us. You must take me to meet with the Gareth. They live beyond Osman Plain. Not exactly close. Compensation, is that what you want? Straight to the point, aren't we? I like that. Compensation? How about the ring? This? Isn't there something else? No one's forcing you. I'll give it back to you, as soon as I find something more valuable. What do you mean, something more valuable? Hard to say. I'll know when I find it. What is it you want, Vaughn? What are you looking for? Me? What am I looking for? I... I guess... Well, I, uh... You know... The Gareth are said to dwell in Kirwan. So they do. We'll need to head south, past the Giza Plains. It is the rains now in Giza. The Waris will be swollen with the Deluge. Passage may be difficult. But those same waters may also lay open new routes to us. Regardless, we must go south, yes? First things first. You're eager to be on your way, I know. But we should see that we're prepared before setting out. I made my resolve two years ago. I swore to overcome any hardship I may face. Man cannot live by resolve alone, Princess. Okay, finally we are able to control Vaughn. Uh, one second. Actually, speaking of Vaughn, uh, I still don't know what he's what his role is in this game. I have played it several times. I'm still confused. Like, why is he here? Why is Spinello here too? Why are they tagging along? That, that has never been answered. I don't know why he's here, but... Oh well, that's uh, that's why I don't like him. Oh, Rex's friend? What's this? I couldn't help but overhear. You're leaving for the, to find the Gator? Well, I happen to know the way. You first need to pass through Giza. From Giza, continue south and you should come to the Gator village. Whatever your errand there, good luck. Okay, why does it say er Rex's friend? 
That's weird. Rabbi Nastrin. Maybe there's something. A busy messenger. The reins have gone to Gisa. Um, okay, nothing. Headhunter. Anything for you? No. Well, let me go ahead and sell things. There doesn't seem to be anything new here. Let me. Well, let's look over here and see. Clan provision. Oh, this is the person. Okay, step right up, lad. Let's see. For your rank, our goods look something like this. Holler if you see something that you takes your fancy. Let's see if there's anything new. We have drain. Uh, it's just HP. I mean, I guess that's. No, I don't want to waste my money. Just for that. Let me go sell things first, okay? Okay, this guy doesn't have anything. Let's go on ahead. Um, I think there's a couple. There's probably more things. Oh, there's Gatsley. Let's see what you got. That's actually. Um. Look into the bazaar goods. Anything? No? Okay. If, I thought he was going to sell anything. Uh, something. Uh, let's go ahead and um, let me go through the shops and see what I can find, okay? Uh, we'll also head to the um, to the guy with the... Um, in the sand sea. No, no. Um, the person that we we took the... Uh, what am I talking about? The, remember the wyvern lord that we fought? I think we have to go there first, okay? Oh, actually, before that, let's go to the clan hall. I can't even decide. This is... This is so I didn't plan this at all. Okay, I'm up here with Mont Blanc up in the clan hall. Let's see. How fierce a hunt, Koopa? Koopa boy, you're a vanguard already. You've been burning me down oil, Koopa. Okay, let's see what we got. High potions and teleport zones. Keep up the splendid work. Have you here you defeat a demon wall? Impressive Koopa. The Society of Antiquaries sent you this with their compliments. Presented in gratitude for the laying open of new avenues of research research into the past. Obtained money uh, and Electrum. What's that? Got a lot of money there. Heard you defeated another demon wall. Impressive group of the side of the Aquarius send you this. Okay, percent of the Okay, the same thing. Uh, more money and a warp mode. Okay. Oh, so now you can command an Esper. Impressive group of. Okay. An epic tale room embark I now to write. Of those whose steeds give voice to silent muse. Okay. Arcana. Ar Arca Arcana. I guess that's um, plural. And more teleport zones, yay! And there is a gill snapper here. I do believe this is in yeah, it's in Giza Rains, uh, Giza Plains. And there's a um, I think we have a party member here that we that joins us. Uh, now then, let me tell you the uh, the petitioner. Uh, he's in there. Not now. Um, this is the Giza Plains uh, map. It's changed now because of the rains, as you can see. Um, so we have to go there. Good luck hunting your mark, Koopa. Each kill you make wins you greater than renown within the, within the guild. And we have to talk to that Seek right there. Go, going to ask about the guild snapper, are you? You got some drive in you, boy. I could learn a thing or two from you. Been sitting on my tail so long, it's bit, I'd like to sprout roots. Maybe it's time I went on a hunt myself. And we're gonna join. We're gonna get joined by Bansat down there. Let's see if we can talk to him. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay. Most likely, uh, we'll, we'll see him at Giza Plains, so it's, it's not that much of a problem. Alright, let me go hit up the, the shops, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm here at the CNC looking at all the, um, at the notice board, and as you can see, there's more available hunts here. Um, but by the looks of it, the ranks are kind of high over here, especially the Ringworm, the White Moose, and the Matterlith. So we're just gonna go get these level two ones and Kalados is in the uh, in near Jahara or the Oswan Plains. So we're gonna talk to them. Uh, let's see where the bill says. Oh yeah, we have to go to Jahara anyway. So let me go get grab this one too. The crocodile. No, not done. Not the moose. That's level five. I'm gonna die. Um, the crocodile is right here. Uh, mutant lizard. It's in the Giza Plains during the rain. So let's see where we have to speak to the person. And it's going to be in the same spot that we have to go anyway for um, the uh, the gill snapper. So let's go ahead and take that. I'll, I'll meet you guys at the weapon shop for the other hunt. Here we are. Let's talk to... Is it Cheryl? Cheryl, yep. Slain the Wyvern Lord, have you? You've done, Rabbit Master. A great service, boy. After you set out, I thought I might have been overreacting just a touch after all. But there's not to be gained from doubting now, is there? You've done a man's job. Here's your bounty. Take it with my thanks. And we got an elfin bow, a shell shield, wow, and a 1,000 gil. Those are all good items, okay. Thank you so much, okay. Let me go finish up uh, buying stuff here, okay. Alright, you guys, I went outside of Rabinaster and went to the Esther Sand te uh, Teleport Crystal. We're back at the south bank of the Nebra, um, because apparently 
this thing is back. See this? The belt. Let's go talk to this guy. Dentist wife. Let's talk to Chigiri. This is definitely my dad's boat. But where's my dad? Something bad must have happened. I'm crossing to the north bank to see what's going on. I know how to pilot the boat, and there's no point in waiting around here worrying. Nonsense. Watching your father pilot the boat and doing it yourself are two different things. The river's dangerous, my boy. But if, what, what if my dad's in trouble? After him, there's no one that even knows how to pilot the boat except me. That's kind of true. Yes, but even if you make it across the river, who knows what you'll find once you get there. I'm sorry, but it's simply too dangerous. But my dad, come on, let me in. What if he went with Chigiri, Chigri, or Chigri, Chigri? He hunted the following, the flowering cactoid for Dantro. He must know how to defend himself. That is true. What do you say, boy? Will you do this for our village? Will you go to Ch with Chigri to see what's happened to the North Bank? I mean, are you saying that everybody died in the North Bank and no one can help him? All right, let's go. Thanks. What are we waiting for? Thank you, boy. Look after my, uh, look after Chigri for us, and you, Chigri, you be careful. The river will swallow a lot of you if you're not. Okay, so we're gonna cross the river. Yay! Where where am I? Why am I am I inside that thing? Okay, doesn't look that bad. It's a very very calm river. I've seen rougher rivers than that. Oh, okay, that's probably why. There's like cactoids over here. Wow. Look over there. Are those cactoids? But they're friendly. They must have attacked the North Bank. What are we gonna do? Wait, there's my dad and everyone else too. I don't like the look of this one bit. Seems like they're holding him hostage. But what would cactoids want with hostages? I don't believe it. Yes, run away. The cactoids all up and left. Now's a chance to go help my dad. Well, I didn't do anything. So, I... I kind of wish I did something. Uh, let's go and see. There's something else here, it seems. Talk to him more. Is it Ruxel? That's a weird name. I'm so glad you're all right. Uh, we didn't know what happened to you. Quite a tale, that one. And you've some tales on your own, piloting that boat all by yourself. I knew you'd get to the river in, in your blood. <laughs> the others said it was too dangerous, but I knew I could handle it. But what about the cactus? They ran off for good, right? We can only hope so. Still, they're a prickly lot. Haha, <laughs> I get it. I can't imagine they give up that easily. Alright, let me fight them. Whoa, what's that? Are they coming back up here? What? What the hell? It's another flowering cactoid! Oh, it's gigantic. Oh my god. Look at that. That is the leader of the cactoids. How how is it that the cactoids are killing you? Hey Perfect Pants, what, who do you think you are kidnapping my dad? Say back, Chigri. They just want to find their son. Oh. Find their son, you mean they're related? That's right. They're a cactoid family. The eldest son, Dran, went missing and they sent out to find him. They came to our village along the way. Nothing but bad news to Strand. He's part of the Cactoid clan terrorizing the village. There's even a bounty on his head. This one's here's the matriarch of family. She's been searching him high, for him high and low. Wants to bring him back home. But they couldn't find Dran anywhere in Damascus. That's why they needed us. She forced us to guide him in the lands beyond the desert. The most foreign highways, the Salika Wood. Even the Necro Halls of Oh my god, I've given up the choice to ever making it back. And after all that, we still couldn't find him. So they brought us back here for now. But who knows where they'll drag us off again. So, there's a bounty on Dren, huh? You have any idea where that might be? Uh, we kinda killed him. That's not good. I don't think he's to the north of the river. He must have looked under every stone between here and, and something else, okay? We we have, we have weren't about to leave the cactoids there and get you other, and the others mixed up too. So that's why we came to set the boat adrift. Keep him from making the crossing. I never figured you coming to rescue me, but there's no time for that now. We'll keep him busy while you search the south bank for Dren. Right, let's leave it to us. Let's get going. Okay. I think I know where to find your son. And he's not going to be happy. Or no one's going to be happy when they find the pieces of his children. Or her children. Um, so I think we have to go back here. Because we gave the flower and cactoid things to the lady. And if we go over here, somewhere in the back. Where is it? Over here, it should be shining, like sparkling. Let me see. 
It's gotta be here somewhere. Oh, I think he gotta talk to her, his wife first. I don't understand. Why would the cactus invade the village? They're usually harmless enough. Their son, you say? And we must find the desert. The desert is huge. Where would we even begin? Wait. What if, if this cactus has been causing us much trouble, as they say, someone may have posted a bill for him, unless the bill don't post it. You hunted the cactus, didn't you? You don't think, of course. The cactus you hunted must have been their son. Hunted and made into medicine. Uh-oh. We'll never be able to return him now. What? The flower? Why, well, I boiled it and threw it away behind the house. Let's go grab that boiled dead flower. Is it over here? There it is. Are you alive? What the hell? This is not cool. I killed you. Why did you? Why are you alive again? Is he gonna follow me? I have a friend. Let's see, let's go, Cactoid. I mean, Dran. All right, don't drown. You found a Cactoid. What? You didn't? You hunted the other one, but this one looks like the other one, huh? Well, none of this makes much sense to me. But I, but I guess we don't have much of a choice, huh? This family's waiting. Let's go. Let's give up. Oh, he, he's almost drowning from the water. Let's go ahead and give up this kid. Pray to, let's pretend it's the same person. I don't think they'll ma um, it'll matter. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get him back to his family. All right, come on, kid. Let's go back to mama. Talk to him. Go. Hey, we found your son for you. Now let my dad go. Oh, they're back. Although it's it's weird that some of them are smaller and this guy just was just reborn. Hmm, I don't know. You think they're buying it? They don't have a brain. See? Look at him go. Guess they're gonna take him in after all. Come on. Right, leave. Go away. Oh, are they gonna give me something? What do you want? A pouch of worm fire shot. What the hell? What? What? What is that? Is that is that like gunshot or bullets? Let me see. It's fire! Finally! Okay, maybe this is a good time to actually do this. Well, maybe maybe in the next video. Um, well, we're over here. We might as well try to get the Veil Blossom do right? It's up in the... What's it called? Up there? I'll go look for it. Let's go into the next one right here. Maybe I should save it first, but that's okay. It's fine, it's fine. Let's go to the next part here. Ooh. Are they... Are they... Tough? They're kind of tough. I'm only at... 19. Yeah, no. This is gonna be tough. Let's, let's save it for... For another episode. When I'm at least stronger, let me go back to the save crystal, okay? Well, the only way to get there, back there is by talking to Chigri. The fair is running again if you want to cross. Of course, I want to cross the river. The crossing normally costs money, but since you help us and all, well, anyway, let's go. Yay, it's free. We're going to run, like, we're going to waste all their, <laughs> their resources by not paying the money. That's that's the best way possible, okay? Um, but I think now that we have... I mean, now that we got the form fire shot, I guess it's the only way to get it. Wow. Well, now that we have that, I guess I'll talk about um, getting the rest of them in the next episode, okay? It's part of the preparation to go um, through uh, the Giza Plains and the Osmond Plain and all that, all right? So the next time, uh, we'll, we'll do all that prep to reach Jahara and talk, about, uh, talk to the Gyrath, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys then.